Hey everyone, this is Delisa with American Singing Studio where we're training voices for success. And I'm so excited to come to you. I know it's been a really long time since I've made any videos and this is gonna be my very first reaction video. Now this is an honest reaction video because I have never seen any of these artists. I'd have no idea who these people on these links are. This is gonna be an honest reaction of these singers. And of course, since I just finished my Masters of Music and Vocal Performance. This is probably going to have a strong pedagogical aspect to it, just to kind of help you guys understand how to think about singing a little bit more critically and perhaps help you in your own singing. So, let's go. Darkness, my own friend. Mm -hmm. I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. And the vision that was planted in my brain. Beautiful. And restless dreams I walked alone. Narrow streets of cobblestone. Beautiful. Neath the halo of a street lamp, I turned my collar to cold and damp. Is English his first language? Eyes were stared by the flash of a neon. The sound of silence. Sounds. And in the naked light, I saw ten thousand people, maybe more. It's like he has a different voice box inside of him. Totally different character. Turned into Phil Collins. Beautiful. No one dare disturb the sound of silence. For said I, you do not know. Silence like a cancer grows. Hear my words. It doesn't even sound like he's singing live. It's it's so perfect and so balanced. That's gotta hurt, but it sounds good. Uh-huh. That was freaking beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so what are my first thoughts? 
Um, well, I have a few thoughts. Like I said, throughout, his voice is so beautiful and it sounds like, it's almost like he has two totally different, you know, larynxes inside of him. You know, one that allows him to access, you know, a bass baritone register beautifully. And then one that allows him to um, access a tenor register equally as beautifully. And if you hear him sing either one of those, um, registers independent of each other, you would think that that's where his voice just would shine. Um, so he's extremely gifted and there's, I think very few people that are just that gifted with that level of um, vocal extension. Um, where his register shifts aren't, um, Usually when someone shifts in their registers, there's like, you can hear where the voice shines and blossoms and where it's not as as powerful, but it might still be beautiful. And you may have learned to control it, but you don't have as much flexibility. And I think what is, um, what is remarkable about his voice is that his voice truly blossoms in all of those registers. And it seems like he has um, equal agility in all of those registers, and, uh, except of course when he was doing a da -da -da. I mean, you could hear there that he was really kind of at the top of his register when he started getting really raspy. I mean, it's a very cool sound, but there's no way around it. That That is evidence of you um, pushing your voice uh, um, to its limit and probably just over singing. But I mean, he sounds amazing. And I think he, to, the other thing that comes to my mind is that he is proof that, you know, when people say, oh, what happened to so-and-so's voice? And you go, oh, well, they're older and they're like 42. This man is clearly in his probably mid forties to late fifties. He's a middle-aged man and his voice is amazing, which means he took great care of his voice. So please don't think that um, your voice is in its prime um, before 40, because really you're, you're just starting to come into who you are vocally probably in that middle age range. And I think that um, he is proof of that. I don't know who this young man is, but he's amazing. Um, let me see if there's anything else that I thought about. Yeah, the whole Phil Collins sound. I thought that was really, I like him. I like him a lot. I like his diction. It's very clear. And like I said, it almost made me think he took such care in um, in his enunciation, it made me think that maybe English wasn't his first language, um, which was really cool. Most American, especially American singers, most American singers slur a lot of their words and assume that the listener is gonna understand what we're saying. And um, I could hear from this performance that he he there was a message that he really wanted the audience to hear no matter what their background was. And so I definitely um, could appreciate that from him. To me, this man is just a, a straight up um, vocalist. You know, he's he's a vocal mechanic. He's a vocal technician. Um, he studied his craft and it's super obvious. I think it's great, fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, look out for more reaction videos from me. Let me know what you think about uh, Disturbed. I don't know what the actual man's name is, but this is the group name Disturbed. I guess let me know what you guys thought about it. He's awesome. Bye.